In the past 15 years, the LEGO Aviation theme has really taken off. And in this video, we'll be revisiting some of the most memorable LEGO aeroplane sets and ranking every single airport. Let's get started. <laughs> At number 6, while this isn't really much of an airport, I am going to include it on this list. And it is from set 41109. And it is a LEGO friend set. Not really a great airport, um, I must say. is is just not designed well. I don't really know how to word this, but uh, not a good airport at all, a really poor attempt. I really think that L LEGO could have made a good airport, but they decided not to. I think they were going for a different design curve um, just for this set, and I do respect that. But since this list is ranking airports on how good they are as like an airport, their realism, their functionality, this is gonna be dead last on our list. Checking in at number 5 is the airport from set 60262. I've said this in the past and I'll say it again, this airport is the size of a bus stop. While the design is actually quite nice, I think it's quite sleek, but unfortunately the size makes it nowhere near functional, and makes it lack many important features of an airport. I honestly don't even know why LEGO even bothered to include this airport in this set, however if you do have a few extra parts at home you can expand it. And the interior is also really plain and simple. Now I know this list does say LEGO City Airports, but I thought I'd include this one anyway. At number 4 we have the airport from set 60261, and it is a junior set. While this is the smallest airport LEGO has ever came out with, I do understand that this is a junior set, hence the small airport. And honestly, if this set was targeted for 4-5 year old kids, LEGO did a great job with it. This includes many important parts of an airport. And while it is presented really well, I wish LEGO would have gone above and beyond and gave us a more realistic airport. Because again, 4-5 or five year old kids will be building the set and I would really want them to understand what a real airport would look like and how it operates. And I really wish that LEGO could have at least tried to achieve this with this airport. At number 3 and from this point onwards, I have to say all the airports are definitely amazing, all deserve at least an 8.5 out of 10. And yep, you've guessed it, at number 3 you have the airport from set 7894. The unique thing about this set is that it is the only LEGO airport that actually includes a little jetway where, you can, where passengers can board directly from the airport to the plane, which is something you see on international flights. I think this is a really cool feature, and I like how the little international and domestic sticker, it really sort of gives it more of a vibe that it's a big international airport, which I do like. Unfortunately though, I'm not a big fan of the design, it is quite funky. I don't dislike it, but I'm not a fan. Uh, details are quite good, the interior, um, while it is plain, you guys can add your own stuff to it. And yeah, overall, it's a pretty good airport. Though honestly, I really think this airport had the potential to be number one. If maybe LEGO had redesigned the exterior to be more cleaner, added some more interior details, and that would have been a killer airport because it looks amazing the way it is. But imagine what you could do if you customize this airport. And at number two, we have the airport from set 3182. And LEGO absolutely nailed the exterior with this. This looks amazing. If I'm going to make my own custom LEGO air airport mock, or I'm going to make a really big airport, the exterior is going to look somewhat like this. They completely nailed the exterior. It looks amazing. It looks very realistic. Love the details. Definitely a 10 out of 10 exterior. Interior as well. Pretty good as well. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Um, I really like the details going on here, love the vending machine, love the check-in, I like how they included a little area where uh, people can sit down, maybe have a meal waiting for their flights, some really nice details on the interior. Fortunately, it's not as functional, I think that maybe LEGO could have uh, made the whole, made a whole second story and maybe added an elevator, I think that would have made it much, much better, but nevertheless, this is still a great interior. And at number one is my personal favourite, no biases attached I promise, is the airport from set 30104. I'd say this is the cleanest, sleekest looking airport out there. The exterior looks amazing, you get lots of amazing details, and overall it just gives you a airport aesthetic. I love the little rooftop and I like how they include all these subtle little features like the airport sign and the bus stop. 
The interior is incredible. You get a really nice check-in with a working conveyor belt, a pretty decently sized waiting area, and the security checkpoint, while it is simple, it does serve its purpose. And to top it all off, I really like the whole layout of the interior of this airport, and just the whole airport in general. Nothing really feels small or out of place, but the only thing I really wish LEGO included was a little area where minifigs could maybe buy a snack, have a meal, and add some more commercial spaces. They just add a touch of more detail and realism. This airport also has a lot of sentimental value to me because it was sort of what inspired me and what led me to create this YouTube channel. Also, I really like how LEGO included the control tower to be a freestanding building. Anyway, that's all for this video. We just hit 600 subscribers, by the way. That is incredible. Thank you all so much. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that red subscribe button. It's free and you can always change your mind later. And if you guys want me to continue the whole aviation theme, make sure to hit that like button and let me know what videos you want to see in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.